Over three weeks since Everton were last in Premier League action and now into the month of April, the drive for European football moves up a gear. Keane can find Olsen. No foul on Calvert-Lewin. Zahar. Eze. Did the one-two with Jordan Ayew and then he got the shot away and that's a decent save near post by Robin Olsen. Averiche Eze linking up inside the Everton penalty area here with Jordan Ayew. Good turn by Seamus Coleman. Can he get quality into the penalty area here? He can for Richarlison, just over the crossbar. He hung in the air, but he couldn't get over it sufficiently to plant it into that park end net. Seamus Coleman did very well. And he just clipped this up towards Richarlison, who couldn't quite climb high enough to head the ball down. Zaha. Time, time. Eze. Decent defending that by Everton again. They're on the move now with Gomez. That's not the pass he was quite looking for to release Richarlison. Gomez wins it back and this time he has found Richarlison. Richarlison for Everton. Saved by Guaita. Richarlison again. And the Palace keeper is down to smother at the feet of Richarlison to deny the Brazilian again. Well, Everton have had chances in the opening quarter of this game and this was another big one that they failed to take. Richarlison thwarted by the Crystal Palace Spanish keeper. Holgate. It's a good ball out for Seamus Coleman. In it goes early. Brought down brilliantly by James Rodriguez. The control was superb. The shot was instant. Unfortunately for Everton. And James Rodriguez over the crossbar. But he brought that down so well. There's the control. Teeing himself up for the volleyed effort over the crossbar from James Rodriguez. Well, Richarlison took charge of this free kick from the moment that it was awarded. Ziggerton is there, but Richarlison is definitely the man to take this. Richarlison for Everton, very, very close. Well, he was confident that he could have a real decent crack at goal from the moment the free kick was awarded. And he fought a number of Everton players to ensure that he was going to take it. Here's Eze. Michael Keane got a touch. And Hamas Rodriguez can pick up for Everton. Coleman sends it high towards Calvert-Lewin, who controls on the chest. Now Tom Davis. Here's Rodriguez again. Richarlison. He keeps it and gives it to Ames Rodriguez, who has a great crack from distance. Power behind that one from the Colombian international, and it was narrowly wide. Richarlison with the initial trickery, just managed to tee it up for James Rodriguez, and it was drilled just wide of the keeper's left-hand post. 
It is Hamas Rodriguez with the delivery, and there's the header from Richarlison. It was close again, but Everton just cannot find this breakthrough. And Richarlison agonisingly close once more to getting the better of Crystal Palace. As a former Queen's Park Rangers man in for Riedewald, now Zahar. Palace applying a little bit of pressure early in the second half here. Everton having to defend in numbers. But they've done that competently enough here. And Hamas Rodriguez has got Everton on the move. Richarlison with Luca Dean heading outside of him. Here is Luca Dean. There's the ball into the penalty area. It might break for Zickerton. He can hit one here. And it's blocked and gone behind for the Everton corner. The shot was on target. There were bodies in the way. Gilfie Zigerton hit it, and the shot blocked by Cahill inside the penalty area. Davis for Coleman. James Rodriguez switches it for Luca Dean. Richarlison gets it back into his path. Luca Dean for Zigerton. Coleman. Can Everton finish it? Yes, they can. James Rodriguez with his right boot. And Everton finally make the breakthrough. Oh, it's been coming for a long time. But at last, Everton squeeze one home. It looked like the frustration was to continue. But James Rodriguez was there to hammer it into the Gladys Street net eventually. Richarlison and Luca Dean linked up very nicely and Zigerton was denied by the Palace keeper. But James Rodriguez was not to be denied. I don't think Guaita knew too much about the save he made from Zigerton, but he could do nothing to stop that from James Rodriguez. Back in the Everton starting lineup after missing the last five matches. And back with a goal. And how big a goal could that prove to be? Back it comes. As a goes for goal, Olsen makes the save. And Luca Dean completes the job, gets the ball away for Everton. It was fairly straightforward enough for Robin Olsen, but still he had to make it. James Rodriguez, the Everton goal scorer, departs the field with 12 minutes of the 90 to play. And he is replaced by Jean-Philippe Gabamin after a long, long absence. Serious hamstring and Achilles injuries for Jean-Philippe Gabamin. The last game he played for Everton was here against Watford on the 17th of August 2019. He made his debut for Everton as a substitute against Crystal Palace on the 10th of August 2019. And he's finally back. Gabamin is on the field for Everton. Here's Zigerton, Calvert-Lewin. It's a deep cross, he's found Luca Dean, and now Richarlison to finish it off, no! What an excellent save. Vieta flicking it over the crossbar after Richarlison thought he'd really sealed the victory for Everton. Calvert-Lewin picked out Luca Dean. Likewise, he picked out Richarlison. And that was a very good save by the Palace keeper. Ben Godfrey tries to get a foot in on Zahar. 
Milivojevic got the ball through and it's found its way to Batshuayi, who's equalised for Crystal Palace. Just less than five minutes of the 90 to play. It has finished at Goodison Park, all square between Everton and Crystal Palace. Everton won, Crystal Palace won.